All right, so I may have just found a way to make infinite money. Okay, now, okay, look, I, I get it, you know, it's summer soon, so you're probably looking for a job right now, unless you have one, right? Maybe, I don't know, your parents are, like, trying to get you to go to, like, McDonald's, Wendy's, or, I don't know, Subway. But you're saying, no, you know, I like Roblox. And I'm not trying to make this some corporate video because, bro, I'm just a guy like you, right? So I'm not about to tell you, like, oh, yeah, uh, what you have to do is you need to have strong body language. Like, bro, I've watched those dumb videos in class like they would show us these stupid videos of like oh bro in an interview you need to keep your back up straight dude if you need that advice like if you need step-by-step -step advice on an interview you're born to fail like genuinely but to start off i need to first of all test if you're actually qualified okay so these will these will be yes or no questions just ask them in your head okay and then if you're qualified then you can move on with the video right if you're not qualified then leave right now i don't want you here if i click this what what happens that's right a part gets spawned and I just realized that this isn't a yes or no question, so I guess all of you pass automatically. I want to quickly touch on some stupid self-limiting like limiting beliefs that a lot of people might have when it comes to making Roblox a profitable game. Because I think a lot of people, they still see Roblox as just this like, oh yeah, funny platform for kids games, right? And for the most part, I'll be honest, it is, bro. Like you, you like if you go on the Roblox homepage, bro, like what is this? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but I don't think people understand that literally everyone right now every single person is playing roblox and spending money on roblox right you like people have been saying like because i've seen this like oh yeah roblox is like losing money or whatever is just because they're putting in a lot more money than they're making and the other dumb belief that a lot of people seem to have for some reason is that there's like no opportunities to monetize on roblox and all i'm gonna tell you is you know doors right like yeah the hit roblox game you know who they have a shop that like sells doorknobs right have you ever actually bought doorknobs probably not so you know while they probably still made a ton of robux from that shop you know how they made a lot of their money they sold doors plushies bro i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find like the site or like the numbers because the thing is like they said like oh yeah we have like ten thousand in stock or something bro people pre-ordered all of the plushies and each plushie is like 30 bucks okay so yeah just if you're thinking oh but i can't make money get that dumb belief out of your head okay because you, you either get hired for a fixed rate which obviously you're gonna make money then or you make your own game which if it's good enough then you just have access to a lot of people and then you can sell them something so now let's go over the first way of making money being an employee and there is literally like an infinite amount of like discord servers and you know websites where you can find commissions right from what I found, uh, this Discord server called Hidden Devs is one of the best ones. So you literally just go to hiring, scripter hiring. Bro, look at this. Short-term scripter hiring, 150 US dollars, right? What does this guy need? User interface, okay, whiteboard system, custom bike system, admin system, locker system. Like, okay, sure, this might be a lot, but imagine if you, like, already know how to do all of these. I'm telling you this because there are literally so many offers. Look at that. And that's the thing, right? You can either just do a quick commission, like, oh yeah, I just need a proximity prompt and marketplace. I could literally DM this guy right now and do this for him. And then you have the official Roblox talent hub, right? So you can, like, filter out what people need, right? And you can say, yeah. Searching experience and efficient builders, you get 40%. Uh, don't don't go for percentage because you don't even know how much they're making. But yeah, obby game tester, looking for it to sell a futuristic weapon. This website is worse than hidden devs, but I just want you to know that you do have a lot of options. Now, I'll actually give you some quick advice as someone who actually did hire people before, right? What a lot of people do is they send you a message and then the message is just terrible. Like for example, right? Let's say we have this guy called Dead Eye, right? Need an experience simulator script. Okay, so you, you know, you read through this, they're like, okay, yeah, they have a big team they need you know ui gameplay eggs leaderboards which is funny because actually all of this i teach in my uh, course which is linked in the description okay so if we put ourselves in the shoes of this guy clearly he's not messing around all he's looking for is just a guy who knows his stuff who can just get what he wants done and so it's like you know what a lot of people might do when you know dming this guy like hey man um i've only been scripting for six months so like you know uh, i'm not that good haha but here's my simulator it's like bro no one's hiring you like that the next step of all of this is being the employer right or the game creator now i mentioned my course right so if you actually struggle with game development i would suggest that but there's always you know tutorials and everything you know i have tutorials obviously so you obviously could go and learn on youtube albeit slower however being an employer just if you're looking for money i would not recommend if all that you want is like oh yeah i kind of know roblox and you know i kind of would like to make money bro if you do not have a vision for a game right now then i would not actually go and do this because here's the thing you could build up a team and just make like you know one of those like repetitive like cash grab simulator games like oh uh a weight simulator where like you, you click and then it's like there's a shop and then you click on the shop and it gives you like a thousand cash which is like 
well, how much is a thousand cash in this game? Who knows, right? Or you could potentially aim for making a game that genuinely changes Roblox forever. Like, I know that sounds like a lot, but like, Saul's RNG came out, right? It's a very simple game. Like, it, have you ever played the game? It's insanely easy to code. Like, I, I can tell right now, right? And yet, it's sitting at like above 100,000 players. So if I were you, and you know, you don't want to be hired by someone, but you do want to actually, you know, take charge and make your own game, then you have two options, right? Make a, make a cash grab or make a game that you actually can see like changing Roblox and, you know, just getting a lot of players. Because from there, the best part is that if you're just making a repetitive soulless cash grab, your only way of monetizing it is through Roblox, right? So you can't make like a merch. No one's going to go buy your merch. But if your game is just genuinely good and it has like life and personality, then you can just do like the doors approach, make some marketable plushie for like $50, get like a thousand people to buy it, boom, 50k right there. So yeah, as I've said before, if that does interest you, but you are like more of a beginner developer, you can find all of the required information to become an expert at Roblox scripting down in my description. And by the way, bro, this is just for Roblox, right? Like I said, if you're going to go to like McDonald's, Wendy's or Subway, and you're going to be there like, oh, bro, yeah, actually, I have experience in Roblox development. McDonald's is not hiring you, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs>